Hello everyone and welcome back to your piano lesson. If you are here for the first time, I am Gianluca Fronda, your virtual piano teacher. If you want to discover interesting facts about me, you can watch the introduction video of this channel. I'm leaving the link in the description of this video, where you will find also the link for my artistic channel Gianluca Fronda, pianist and composer, if you're interested in original music and covers. Talking about this channel, don't forget to subscribe and uh, let me know about yourself uh, by commenting, tell me when uh, you have started, if you are finding my channel interesting and you are improving your skills also thanks to my videos. And don't forget also to share with your friends if there is anybody interesting in piano music, any, that, anybody that you know. So now time to go to our lesson. Today it's time to talk about Serenade on page 22 of John Thompson's Easy's Piano Course Part 2. Uh, this um, uh, song, this melody, let's say, is only for the left hand. But before playing and talking about Serenade, I think that we have to discuss and we have to analyze together the worksheet on page 21. On the worksheet you um, get the explanation of the three new notes that you will have to play in the Serenade, plus there is a transposing exercise and the writing exercise of the new notes. Indeed, you are finally now going to add three extra notes, three, three new notes on the left side. Let's repeat again. Until now you have discovered the nine notes that you have learned in Thomson part one from the C up to the G on the right and from the C up to the F on the left. Then we have added on page 16, we added the three new notes A, B and C on the right side of the five notes you learned in Thompson part one. So we moved the position and we added these three extra notes that have been added to the five that you were playing already in Thompson part one and the beginning of Thompson part two. Now, what are you doing? You are adding three notes on the left side of the file that you have learned in Thompson part one and are exactly these three C, D and E and let's see again where they are and voila so C, the one in the second space of the bass clef stave is this one the D on the third line of the bass clef stave is exactly this one then we have the E in the third space of the bass clef, that is exactly this one. So these are the three notes, C, D and E. See, this is the middle C, and it's simply the C that is on the left side of the middle C. One octave lower, yeah? Hey, well, these are the notes. Obviously, write down the names, write the notes here, according to the requirement. Remember, semi brief in case you are using the American version is whole note, dotted minim is dotted half note, minim is half note, crotchet is quarter note, and two quavers means two eighth notes. It's very simple, you have to simply, um, the C is in the second space, D, third line, E, third space. And then the transposing exercise. You should remember, I hope that you remember, how it works. What does it mean transposing? If these notes, these are the new notes yeah, that you've learned here. So, these notes now have to be written one octave higher in the old way, let's say. To simplify, I say in the old way. If this is the middle C, you see, it uh, uh, helped you, Thompson. But then you carry on. This is, uh, again, C, this is the D that you have played several times, then the E, this one, and so on. The second one is the, is the opposite from the old notes, these ones. You have to go and write the new ones. One octave lower. Middle C, like the C. You have to follow the name, okay? Many students have problems understanding what to do here. This is a big jump of octave from these C to the C in the uh, third space of the treble clef statement. It means that you are jumping, yeah? In practice you are moving from here to this one. So if this one obviously will be the one in the second space, 
yeah, here on the keyboard, you have to jump one octave up, and this one obviously will correspond to the middle C, the middle C that is written in bass clef. I have told you everything. You have to simply apply what I'm telling you. And obviously, I hope that you won't need any more these kind of explanations. Time now to play Serenade. Because now we know the notes, we know where to place the hands. So little finger on the C, on the new C. Little finger. And that's it, you have to simply keep one finger on each key, on the following keys. Let's play. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. I think that now this time is not needed a um, an extra performance, slow performance, because it's single hand, very simple and uh, quite you know long notes. I hope you don't mind me not recording also um, a much slower performance. Um, if you have any extra question, as usual, feel free to comment. I keep saying that um, the comments are not that many. You are maybe studying in secret. <laughs> you don't want to share with me your uh, impressions, your, um, I mean, your improvements, but feel free. If it's the first time that you're landing on this uh, channel, thanks to this video, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much for today and see you in the next video. Bye.